Hello, I'm Jerry Stewart. Just sitting here looking at an old flag that I purchased a number of years ago. And every time I look at this flag, it makes me proud that we have fought so hard and so many have given so much so that we have our stars which represent our states, which represents us. That we have the blue that stands for persevering, the white that stands for purity. We know we're not perfect people, but we're to strive to be. Now, and of course the red, which represents the sacrifice, the shedding of the blood, the suffering for the sake of our nation, and this flag represents all that there is. Let me tell you a story. When we had our terrible civil war, the year was 1864, there was a, a young Jewish man who actually he had come to our country from Czechoslovakia when he was 11 years old. And he was fighting for the North. And when they would go into battle, most of the men would carry something very similar to this very rifle. This is a Springfield rifle from 1865. And they would carry the rifle, and then there would be typically one person in the troop that would carry the flag. Now you would say, why in the world would he carry a flag? What can the flag do? You can't kill anybody with a flag. You can't scare anyone off with the flag. You can't capture anyone with the flag. Why did they carry the flag into battle? Let me tell you the story. These northern troops came up against the, well, the very feisty southern groups, and they were having a great battle. And the south began to get the better of the north. And the northern soldiers began to fall, wounded and dead. And Leopold Carpellis's job was to stand in the middle of the battle and hold up the flag. And the idea was, if the flag ever went down, someone else was to run up and take the flag. In this battle, so many people fell and Leopold kept waving the flag and waving the flag and rallying the troops. But the southern troops were prevailing and the northern troops, well, they turn and they ran. And Leopold turns and looks and see, sees all of the, the troops, all of the men running the other way. Now, understand the southern troops would always go for shooting the man with the flag because if the flag would fall so often, the troops would quit fighting. But instead of running with the others and retreating with the others, get this, Leopold found a tree stump, the highest spot that he could find, and he jumped up on that stump with all of the southern soldiers shooting at him. And he began to wave the flag and wave the flag. And this is what he screamed out. For God's sakes, boys, don't forget the flag. For God's sakes, boys, don't forget the flag. And the men who were running stopped and looked back. And they saw this brave young man standing on this tree stump with this flag begging them to come back and to not forget the flag. And they stopped and they turned around and they went back and fought into the battle. And they continued with the battle and they prevailed. Leopold Carpellis was never hit by a bullet and later, he was one of the first recipients of the Medal of Honor. Now, does the flag make 
a difference. Throughout history, I could stand here and give you multiple stories of times when our country was on the edge of defeat, when battles were being fought, when our men were, were in Iwo Jima and various other places, and they would look at the flag, and the flag would give them the courage to keep going. What is the purpose of our flag? To remind us, to encourage us. Where does courage come from? Encouragement. When the day comes that this flag is genuinely nothing but a piece of cloth, when that day comes, we will no longer be the land of the free and the home of the brave because we will lose our courage. I put these words out to those who are kneeling for the flag, kneeling to the flag. I embrace you as an American, but I reject what you're standing for. And I am going to do everything possible to fight with all of my might what you're doing. And one day, the answer will be told. Either those of us who know what you're doing is disrespectful to the flag and we will prevail or you will prevail. In the meantime, I'm not watching your ball games. Those of you who are making millions and millions because we're watching, when we quit watching and you're making pennies instead of millions, then you can say, well, it was worth it or it wasn't. We believe what we're standing for is correct. I'm Jerry Stewart. I encourage you if, you, if you agree with me, like this site. If you don't, then dislike. But tell me why. We want to know. We're all in the same boat together. We're all Americans. We need to work through this together. If you're not a subscriber, please do. The more subscribers I have, the more broad my, my reach is to more and more people out there that are going to the internet. If you're Facebook and you're seeing, please like it. If you're Instagram or tweet or whatever it is, please let me know what you think. Once again, Jerry Stewart, Common Sense, God bless you.